So what we're going to look at now is really simple things to do if someone goes to side headlock you. Now this is common, bars, whatever, if you're out at night and a bloke comes up to you and goes, hey yeah, come over here, come with me, come and see my mates, okay, or take you somewhere else. You don't want that to happen, right, because this is a really strong grip for me, it's used in MMA a lot as well. But look, if I can get Jesse's head here and link my hands together, you know, I can drag her around, I can take her wherever I need to, and she's kind of stuck there. So, in some martial arts schools, they'll teach you to go to the floor in this position. For example, if she's got my head, they'll say, look, go around behind, start lifting them, taking them to the floor, or back tripping them as well. But the problem with that is that you end up on the floor with them, right? So it's not always the best option. You need to just be more aware when someone puts their arm around your head and get out of it from the beginning, right? There's no point waiting until it's all the way locked on and her going, oh, crap, I need to get out of this position. Okay, she should have been spatially aware and aware of her surroundings and got out of it from the beginning. So, come on this first one, sit. First thing you need to do is look around you. So on your night out, whatever, just make sure no blokes are going to put their arms around you. So, if I do go to grab her, I'm like, hey, come over here, come in my face. All she has to do is this. No. Okay, so the first one, with her left hand, she wipes it out, and then she just, she's like, no thanks, I'm good. Okay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on, just come over, just, come on, just come over here. She's like, she's good. Okay, that's it. Just do that. Right? She's going, no thanks. And if you need to be a bit stronger with it, well, no, no, really, come. She's like, no. You see how she pushes me away as well? That's what you want to do. So really simple. Don't let their hand on your head in the first place. Now, if I do get it on her head, come over a bit, and I'm here and I'm holding up, right? Even, you know, you sit on nights out, people are a bit drunk, they're like, hey, yeah, hey, come over here, come with me. Doesn't want to be in this position, because look, I'm really strong, I can drag her around, I can pull her head down, I can take her where I need to. So, as soon as I get here, if she's missed the first one, to not let it on, both hands go on my wrist. Yes. Now, she doesn't want to turn into me, what she wants to do is lift it over her head, and then uh, go in front with it. Uh, no, not like that. So that's good, because she's never done this before, which is good. So look, watch. So I'm here, and she grabs my wrist, and she spins that way. Oh, good, look, got behind her now. Now I can start dragging her even more. And that's the worst position for her. So she needs to be behind me. So look, when I grab here, both hands go on my wrist, and now all she does, she lifts it over her head. Ah. Now I'm like, oh, where's she gone? She disappeared, she's not under my arm anymore. And then when she's behind me, she gives you a massive push. Yes. And I'm like, oh, where's that head gone? And here, oh, there she is. All right? So, don't turn your back to them. Don't do this. Look. Do, do, do grab it and face that way. I'm like, oh, no, where you going? Just come back. Yeah? It's harder. So as soon as my hand goes over, she grabs my wrist, lifts it over here. Stop. Now look, she's behind me. Okay? And she hasn't given it time to get locked up or anything. From there, ideally, if she just lets go, I'm going to be like we do, like, and be back in front of her. But if she does, she quit, she lifts over and then pushes me into a crowd of people, you know, that's what you want. And then she's out of that situation. That's escaping it early. So look, the very earliest point is this. Move your hand out. Yeah, second point is like, oh, no, 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 no. Lift it over, push it down. Okay, now, the third thing, now if I'm getting a bit more aggressive now and I really want to start taking her somewhere, she can't let me lock my hands together. So if I put my hands here like this, you know, she's gonna try and stay right and get me off her because she doesn't want to, but I'm trying to pull her down here, right? Just rest for one second. So look, ideally, if I can get my hands together, I'm really, really strong here. So what she needs to do, that hand is gonna go around my back, yeah, and then she's gonna block this arm here. Yeah, of course, now that I'm like, oh, what's going on? Can't lock it up, all right? And then she grabs with the single hand, lifts it over her head and does what she's done before. Okay, so you need to be quick here. So look, I go to grab her head. If she waits with this hand, my hand's already coming in and I'm grabbing her here. If she's really quick, as soon as I grab this one, she's blocking that hand. Oh yeah, look, she's already gone. Go, go for it, quick. Okay, she needs to grab the rear hand because that stops me locking it up. So let's do it slowly one time. Look, I go to grab her. My hand, she knows this is what's going to cause her problem. So her hand goes on the inside and blocks my wrist. Yeah. Now I can't pull it through. And she's strong there. Then she lifts it over her head and then pushes me and then escapes. Okay? 
So that's kind of like the third level. Don't let them let their hands get together. And obviously the last bit, if I do manage to get my hands together. So there are different things you can do, but like I said, this is just for people who haven't got a clue. So if you want to learn, go to like martial arts school, learn submissions, take down defense, etc. But let's say I've got a head. What she wanted to do is put both hands on my wrist, yeah, and then just pull down as hard as she can and break the grip. Okay, now, this, like I said, there are different ways, but this is just getting her head out. Her main priority is to not let it get tight and get her head out straight away. So look, if we go a bit stronger, come here, a bit closer. Yeah, cool, like I grab her head, I'm like, yeah, come with me. And she grabs, pulls down. You're gonna have to fight a little bit. There's gonna be a bit of resistance, okay? But she has to get out of there, that's the main thing. And last thing, because it's in the street and you're not being very competitive, is in you know, a tournament or something like that. If I grab her head and she's really slow, right, and I pull it in really tight, all she's gonna do is bite me as hard as she can. She just puts her head in, bites me as hard as she possibly can until I start releasing this, and then she escapes, and then pushes it off, and then gets out of there. Okay, so this is just the most basic stuff you can be doing and understanding. Ideally, if you're a woman in a barn, some bloke's trying to put their hand over your head. So let's just run through it one more time. First thing, no. Don't let them on in the first place, okay? Second thing, if they do get it on your head, both hands grab the wrist, lift it over your head, stay behind them, push you away. Nice. Third thing, I go to grab her, she blocks the rear arm straight away. Yeah, it doesn't let me tie it up. Pulls off with one arm, pushes me away. Perfect. Next bit, if I get in a little bit tighter, she's gonna have to fight a bit here, pull the hands down, and just get her head out really quickly. If she turns a bit, it kind of helps. So look, if she's here, if she's facing forwards and bend over, it's a little bit tricky. But if she turns her head into me, she kind of gets a little bit of extra space to get it out. And then the last one, as I go to grab it, if it's really tight, she bites me and keeps biting. And I'm like, ah! And then she gets out by putting the hands and fighting off. So that's just really simple stuff. Be aware if someone's trying to put their hand over you and try and get out of it early. The earlier you can do it, the better. It's the same thing when you actually learn martial arts. Don't wait till uh, it's on that you've got to try and get out. Be like, oh, you know, wait. Or sorry, try and escape the three, four, five steps before that. That's the best thing to do. So that's how to ideally escape a headlock. 